Hello everyone and welcome to this video. My name is Ajax and I'll be presenting now to you one way to solve this problem, the first problem of the first chapter of the amazing book Fundamentals of Acoustics. So let's read the text of the problem. Given two springs of stiffness S and two bodies of mass M, find the natural frequencies of the systems sketched below. So we have here different combinations of springs. We have two springs in parallel, two springs in series, two masses uh, attached to each other. And here we have two stands in the mass in the middle. So how can we find the natural frequencies of these systems? Well, uh, we can use the simple harmonic oscillator theory, which is a theory that establish that for simple systems such as the uh, spring mass systems uh, we have here an ideal spring with stiffness k and a mass m and if we displace this mass from a distance x from its equilibrium position the position x equals zero equal to zero we will notice one elastic force that can be written as minus k times x a force proportional to the displacement and restoring in a way that if we displace the mass from its equilibrium position the force tends to push back pull back the body to its equilibrium position so every time we have a configuration like that the total for every time the total force is an elastic force of this kind minus a constant times x we can directly write that the natural angular frequency of the system is the square root of k divided by m and thus we can write the natural frequency of the system. Uh, we know that 2 pi times the frequency is the, the angular frequency. So we can write the natural frequency as 1 divided by 2 pi times omega 0. That is 1 divided by 2 pi times the square root of k divided by m. So we can study these systems above and see if the total force is an elastic force of this kind and by identifying the k of the system and the mass little mass m of the system we can directly write the natural frequency so let's study the system a but first i want to note that I would not consider gravity in this problem, okay? You could consider gravity, but I will focus here in this solution on the elastic forces due to the springs only. So, uh, we have here this system A in its equilibrium position where the springs are relaxed, okay? This position is the x equals zero to zero, and we pull the system by a distance x and what we will see is that each spring each ideal spring will cause a force on the mass that is proportional to this displacement and the constant here is s for each spring so if we write the total force acting on the mass it will be minus s times x plus minus s times x. There are two forces acting on the mass, each one to, uh, related to a spring. So the total force will be minus 2s times x. And this is a total force of this kind. In this case, our k is equal to 2s, okay? And by Newton's second law, this total force 
is equal to the mass of the system m times the acceleration of the system and this this guy here is a little mass m so we can directly write that with this identification we can directly write that the natural frequency of the system a is 1 divided by 2 pi times the square root of k divided by little m in this case k is equal to 2s and in this case little m is equal to big m so i hope you liked the the solution and i see you in the next video for the solution of the system b see ya